Hey folks, Matt from IrelyImage.com. We've got uh, BDoct is Alpha is the U- YouTube username here. We've got a question in uh, on the videos and they say, do you use autofocus on your videos? I'm having a hard time when using my 50F14 for video setups like yours. While reviewing products, I like to hold the product up to show, but the focus takes forever. Do you think I should turn it off? Well, thanks for your question. And if you're talking about a setup like this, no, I don't. Well, I guess I should make a, put a caveat there. I was going to say no, I don't. But I do in the sense of I put it into manual focus, but I use the iPad here with the fantastic Panasonic app to do an override. So I hit the autofocus button. I let it pull focus with that. I use the focus peaking to confirm it's, it's accurate. And then what I've essentially done is manually focus to the camera quickly with the iPad. Because now the autofocus isn't still active. It's not still hunting or anything. It's acquired focus and stays there because it is in manual focus right now. It just had a quick override to focus. Almost like if I went to the camera and manually focused it, I just use the iPad and the autofocus sensors. And once it hits focus, it doesn't keep trying to find focus. And I've got the visual peaking to show me that, yes, it's in focus, which is handy. And I can monitor things right here with the iPad. So that's what I do. Uh, when you're asking, do I autofocus? If I'm out and about and you see me doing a vlog or I'm doing um, on-site things, then sometimes, yes, I do use autofocus. But you do have to be aware of how your camera reacts and how it works for the autofocus. Um, the Canons are the best, the dual pixel AF cameras, um, you know, the ADD, the SL2, the M50. They do that very well, very accurately, and you don't have to worry so much about them. Pretty much every other camera, you want to keep your eye on it because... Um, sometimes it'll drift on you or come out of focus. I know I've shot stuff and thought it was in focus and then I see that the camera hadn't, it, you, you actually, you can see yourself pop into focus in the video. Kind of can ruin your video that way. So you got to be careful. Um, so if you're doing reviews where you're working with it, again, maybe the, the Canon, if that's what you're doing a lot of, the deep, something with the dual pixel autofocus would be the way to go. Um, or turn it off and work around that, you know, a lot of video, a lot of pro video and a lot of movies and things is shot manual focus. A lot of the movie producers and things don't use autofocus. So um, it's definitely doable. And it's more accurate in the sense that if you've manually nailed it, you know you've nailed it. And if you've confirmed it with focus peaking or checked your shot, you know it's there. And you're not running into a situation where you thought the autofocus was having accurate, consistent focus and it wasn't and then ruined your shot. Let me throw it back to you guys. What do you guys do when you shoot video? For those of you that do shoot video, do you use autofocus? Or do you manual focus everything? Do you use a combination? Like whereas I put it in manual in a setup like this, and then I use the iPad to quick acquire focus, and then it goes stays at that focus in manual. Um, what do you do? And I guess the caveat there is if you are, uh, maybe specify what cameras you're using because makes a difference. I mean, if you're shooting a Canon with dual pixel autofocus, well, that makes a big difference than if you're shooting one of the, let's say, an older Panasonic like the G7 that doesn't do that dual pixel style autofocus very well. So it's good to know that because, you know, horses and, you know, let's compare apples and apples because, um, you know, if everybody's saying, well, we are using autofocus, but you don't realize they're also using all Canons and that's why it's working, then you may get frustrated that your camera doesn't do it if it doesn't have dual pixel autofocus. Anyways, let us know what you guys are doing in, uh, in the comments below. Let us know what you're doing and why, what camera you're shooting with. Um, let's help out our viewer there with their question. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.